China is preparing to launch its long March 5 rocket from the Hunan Space Center. This is the second mission for the heavy lift rocket and its payload, a communications satellite. The rocket is a critical piece of China's ambitious space program. It's scheduled to lift a robotic sample return mission to the moon this year. It will transport segments of China's space station into orbit in the next decade. For more about the rocket launch on Sunday, joining me now is Leroy Chow, a former NASA astronaut and commander of the International Space Station. Always great to see you. Welcome back. You're fluent in Mandarin, and on a mission in orbit, you carried a Chinese flag we know and a quartz carved rose from Hong Kong. I'm thinking you're excited about this weekend's <laughs> celebration anniversary. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a, uh, an exciting landmark and, and you know, seeing what's going on out there <clears throat> at the end of this upcoming launch as well. Give us an idea of just how critical a heavy launch vehicle is to China's space program over the next decade, including this space station, Leroy. Oh, absolutely. You, you need a heavy lift vehicle to bring up big pieces if you're going to have an ambitious space program. Uh, China's Long March 5 is one of the most powerful rockets that has been developed. It's actually more powerful and can lift more than the French Ariana 5 and also more than the uh, Russian Proton rocket. So it's about on par with uh, the, one of the U.S. heavy lift vehicles, the uh, Delta IV Heavy, and so it can lift about 25 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Uh, this is only the second flight of the rocket. It's going to be an essential uh, lifter to bring up the components of China's space station starting in 2018 and also will carry China's rover, uh, second rover, I believe, to the moon or, or to, uh, to Mars in 2020. Refresh our, get our, uh, our viewers again about China's efforts to lead the world in space exploration. Right. So China, of course, has, a, has an ambitious uh, long-term plan for space exploration. Last year, China announced what was already kind of an open secret in the community, that China intends to launch uh, its own astronauts to the moon uh, sometime in the 2030s. They haven't set an exact date yet. Uh, and so, you know, China's program has been slow and steady, uh, starting with the launch of Yang Li Wei in 2003, and then progressively with each mission showing more and more capability, most recently demonstrating the ability to launch cargo ships to their space lab, their Tiangong-2 space lab, and demonstrating things, tech, you know, techniques like uh, in-space refueling. So these are all critical activities that China has to prove out and is doing so on kind of a very, you know, measured, uh, measured pace. Do you see a time when China and the U.S. will actually uh, work together as opposed to competing? Well, I hope so. You know, I mean, I, I have seen the benefits of international cooperation. And if the United States can cooperate with Russia on this international space station, which has been so successful, and the partnership has been so successful, too, uh, I think it only makes sense to continue to include more spacefaring nations like China into the partnership. And, uh, you know, I, I think also something that comes out of that is the bettering of relations overall between countries working together on a very visible civil project like space. And so you'd like to see the Long March rocket actually carry uh, international crews, is that right? Well, yes. Uh, you know, China is developing uh, a new launcher. The Long March 2F is currently being used to launch crews into space. Uh, Long March 5 is probably not going to launch crews, but it's going to be critical to launching the bigger pieces like uh, the space station components. So, yeah, I, I would advocate for uh, cooperating together in space and seeing U.S. crews launch on Chinese rockets and, and vice versa. Well, Leroy, we certainly appreciate your time. Always wonderful to see you. Thank you so much.